channel. So as you can tell from the title, this is going to be a video showing you products that I've bought that I completely regret for one reason or the other. I mean some, some of these products, they have good qualities about them, but they don't necessarily work for me. So if these products work for you, please don't take it personally, but you know, we have different skin, different hair. so. Yes, I don't have a ton because I do like to try products before I buy them or test them out as much as I can. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started and show you guys what I regret buying. And of course, I did not buy this all at once. I, uh, this is stuff that I've accumulated and it's just kind of in my drawer and I don't ever really use it. So yes, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So here we go. So the first thing I regret buying is this Bedhead Rockaholic Dirty Secret Dirty Dry Shampoo. And this is a good dry shampoo. Don't get me wrong. It really is. It soaks up the oils and makes your hair clean, a little bit cleaner than if you didn't wash your hair at all. So this is a good dry shampoo, but it leaves a white cast. And with my hair being so dark, it's really hard to use anything that's going to leave a big gray white cast on my roots. It ain't cute. So I do regret buying this. I probably will finish it because it is a good dry shampoo. It just does not work for my dark hair. So I'm probably gonna finish this, but I will not repurchase it ever again. Another hair product that I do regret buying, this is the Redken Curvaceous Wave Ahead Texturizing Mousse for Waves. As y'all know, my hair is really curly and I do like to put mousse in it or um, oils or leave-in conditioners, all kinds of stuff to really make the curls last and not be as frizzy. And I bought this because, you know, it's curvaceous. It's specifically a line. This whole entire line is specifically for curly hair. And yes, it is amazing. It really holds your curl and it's really, really good. It smells good, but it is so freaking sticky. Like when you put it on your hands, it is so thick. It's not like a thin mousse. It's like a thick, whipped type mousse and it is so so sticky that if you use a tiny bit too much your hair will be sticky and like usually with my curls I can kind of go a second day but if I use this stuff my hair is kind of is so nasty I have to wash it every day and that is not cool for me because I hate washing my hair every day so will not repurchase this I will finish it up because it does work good but it just isn't for me Another thing that I totally regret buying, and there's a ton of reasons, but this is the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Longwear Foundation. And as you can see, I really have not used a lot of it. And the number one reason I did do not like this foundation is because it is so heavy on your skin. You feel like people talk about cake face. This is cake face massively massively with icing on top cake face this is so thick and so heavy on the skin it's just there's no hiding it like there's so many foundations that i have that are completely full coverage but they you don't feel them on your skin i.e what i'm wearing right now i do not feel this on my skin this you can feel it on your skin it's like you can feel it just seeping into your pore it's just not a good feeling and another reason is this line i cannot i couldn't find a color that was perfect for me i bought this when i was super tan so as you can see it is not my color this is a super super dark color but yes it is so freaking thick i mean it is like a concealer and i understand that's the point but as you can see it's way too dark now i bought this when i was like super tan super tan so yes i do regret purchasing this this is the color m62 so super dark and honestly i really wish i wouldn't have bought it because it's so heavy and so thick and i have so many other ones that are just way way better so regret buying this 100 percent. and this i did not buy it but i did receive it um at my work because they were about to throw it away but this is the covergirl true magic the sun kisser bronzer this is one of their new bronzers and it's supposed to be like a cream type thing and i really don't like this because it is like really light for number one, but number two, it's like if you barely blend it out, it's gone. 
it is gone. I mean, like, it's just, it goes away completely. And it doesn't blend away beautifully. I don't know. I really don't like the finish of it. And I really did not like it when I set it with the bronzer. It looked so patchy. And it was just not, not cute. And when I put it on by itself, it, like, literally just went away. I guess maybe it's just too light for my skin tone. But it did not work for me. And, yes, I won't be buying that. This might have been a limited uh, item. But this is the True Blue Spa Blue Green Algae Anti-Cellulite Firming Lotion. As most women, I have cellulite. And this, it don't work. Does anything work for cellulite? Probably not. Probably maybe exercise, drink a tons of water, but did not work. And I regret buying this because it was 15 bucks and it didn't work. So, waste of money. A makeup item that I totally regret buying is this Maybelline Master Duo Eyeliner. This is supposed to be a liquid eyeliner. And the point of this eyeliner is that it has a thin side. And then it has like a little rounded side. So this is the applicator. Like it's really weird. And it's supposed to be like a thin side and then like a flat side. So you can do like a thick line. Or you can turn it to the side and do like a thin line apparently. But this is so just difficult to deal with. It wasn't black enough for me. I didn't like the finish of it. I don't know. I just did not like this. The brush really threw me off. And I just like... I just want to use regular liner. Just regular liner, please, you know. So, yes, I regret purchasing this just because um, the shape of the tip was not suitable for me. And it wasn't black enough. So, yes, regret, regret. And this is like a miniature size, um, but I purchased this in a three set of the primers. And this is the Tarte Clean Slate Flawless 12-Hour bright Brightening Primer. And this is just a small side, like I said. And this stuff made my face so oily. And I'm, I have normal skin. Like, I don't really get oily. If I ever get any kind of oiliness, it's just right through here. But my whole face was, like, seeped in oil. And I was like, it has to be the primer. Duh, because that was the only thing I changed. So, definitely regret purchasing this and i'm so glad i didn't get the big one it sounds good 12 hour brightening primer but to me for my skin it did not work out i don't know if maybe it was just my crazy skin because it's always going crazy but it didn't work for me and won't be repurchasing this sorry tart a lip product that i am sad to say i regret purchasing is this um, l'oreal extraordinaire lip stick stuff i don't know what it is i don't know what the name is but color riche whatever but it's these new ones they're pretty new and it's the ones that you know they have they are like liquid or whatever and when i swatch it it's gorgeous it's like this beautiful plummy dark burgundy color but when i put it on my lips it was so patchy and it ugh, it did not work out on me it was bleeding everywhere and it was just patchy and i couldn't get it to be an even color and i mean maybe i'll work with it and i find that if i put it over a dark lipstick it is pretty because it just adds some shine but if i do it by itself it is like ridiculous and it's so just you can see my lips seeping through and it was not cute it looked like somebody just threw up on my lips and it just was not cute so i regret this i don't regret the line i love the formula of this it is so creamy and so amazing on your lips and i have the nude one and i'm obsessed with it but this color in particular didn't work out for me it's just too dark and was just patchy and was not cute a highlighting pen that i regret buying and i did get this in a set with a small well rested um, powder is this bare minerals well rested face and eye brightener and this is supposed to be like a pen and you, you know, dial it up or whatever and you, you know, put it on your face, whatever. And for me, it may be great for some people, but for me, I like the really highlighted under eyes in the middle of my face. And this was so, so sheer. It was just like, I was just piling product on for nothing. And I like a highlighter that's going to be pigmented so I can just blend it out, put powder on top and go. I don't have to worry about putting 12 layers on, then powder. No, I ain't got time for that. No. No, sorry, Leroy. Do not have time for that. So, yes, I did buy this, and I totally 
I totally regret buying this. Maybe I can eventually use it, but I do regret buying this as of now. And yes, this may work for you, but it definitely didn't for me, so sorry. And another highlighting pen that I regret buying is this L'Oreal Magic Lumi Concealer Corrector. And this is supposed to be kind of like the Dream Lumi pens, but they are totally not. This is so sheer, and I have the color medium it really it was a really good color for me um but it wasn't really pigmented enough for me i like to really just kind of have a quick thing i don't want to have to pile a ton and ton of highlighter on so for me i do regret buying this and i won't get it again but i mean it was gorgeous when i did use it but just because of the sheerness i did not prefer it so yes i do regret buying this another lip product i regret buying is the co bigelow rose salve salve whatever i don't know how to say it i'm from texas get over it um, anyways this is just a it's supposed to be like a lip balm that you can use on your cuticles your elbows you can use it on anything pretty much for your body and i mean it feels really good on your lips and it's you know it's really moisturizing and stuff but the smell is really what got me I don't know it's not a bad smell but when it's on your lips and if it gets in your mouth it's just not I don't really like the um, feeling of it and, and compared to the one that is from Sephora and it's the um, minted rose lip balm that one is just so amazing and so creamy and buttery oh my gosh I'm obsessed with it this one just did not do the job and um, it smells good but as soon as it touches your tongue you just want to like throw up I don't know it just was not for me plus I felt like the more I used it the more my lips got drier and drier and drier if that makes sense if you are constantly using lip balm and you feel like they moisturize but eventually your lips are like super dried out it's probably because the lip balm you're using like Carmex, Vaseline, any of those, like they will make your lips feel super good at first, but eventually over time, they're just going to keep drying your lips out. But yeah, anyways, I'm just not a big fan of this and yes, I regret purchasing it. Another thing I regret purchasing, and this was actually in my most recent haul, is this. I really thought it was going to be a dupe for the Beauty Blender because it looks almost exactly like it in shape form. I mean literally exact but when I opened it I realized that this is more bouncy and this is just more hard as you can see I mean it's just not as like bouncy and fluffy I guess and so I wet this and <laughs> whoo oh my gosh it was like pounding a rock on my face I just had to stop using it I, I used it for like three little dots and I was like uh-uh no no this is the essence one i got this from ulta and it was on sale for like a dollar or something so i picked it up just because i was like it's a buck why not whatever and no honey it was like when i wet this thing like i couldn't even get the water out because it was so hard i ain't about to freaking be slapping a rock on my face so i'm probably just gonna throw this away because it was a dollar you know whatever but yes i definitely regret purchasing this because it is just so hard did not like it another lip product that i totally regret buying is this l'oreal le matte color Reach lipstick this is one of the matte lipsticks that came out in their little collection where they had matte and then they had like lacquer kinds and this is just a nude color this is in the color no matter way and yes i don't know this just looked like straight up poop on my lips the color I guess because it's too brown and I don't know it just was not for me I didn't I don't like it and I wish I wouldn't have bought it because it's just ugly it's just ugly the other colors that I bought I bought like a red a coral some other ones um, and then like that really hot purpley pink color those are gorgeous the only thing that bothers me is the smell it eventually goes away but yes i regret this this one just because the color is ratchet on me it looks like i was eating a pile of doo doo so regrets but yeah that is all the products that i regret as of now and so far i don't think i have anything else 
um, that will be in that list anytime soon. I really like to try things out before I buy them. But yeah, that is it for my products that I regret. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and please thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you regret buying and it's just so I don't go out there and buy it. Duh. So yeah, I definitely appreciate every one of you. My channel is slowly growing and I'm so excited that you are a part of it. So thank you so much for watching and make sure that if you aren't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Victoria, good lord almighty. These lips are bam! Talk about bam, 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 bam